Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be showing you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.21. Uh, so this version we're going to be using Fabric Loader and we're going to be using Sodium and Iris. Uh, so to install these mods we're going to have to first download Fabric so we're going to click download here. Click uh, Minecraft Launcher and download for Windows and then we'll download the installer and then you'll click uh, run run here uh, this will not run unless you have Java installed so make sure you install Java uh, and then we have select our Minecraft version we're gonna do 121 uh, we're gonna do our fabric version usually I do the latest version um, then we're going to create the, the profile here. Okay, and then we're gonna click install. And then it'll say successfully installed. And then we're, we're, we're good there. We're gonna go ahead and go to mod rinth and look up sodium and we're gonna look up iris as well. I will have these both, I'll have all three of these linked in the description, so you can just go down there and click them. Make sure you have the correct version for what you're doing. This will, this tutorial should work for future versions too. So if it's 121.5 or 123 or whatever it is, uh, this method should always work. If it doesn't, then I will not update the title for it. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on and download the release here and we're just going to download and we, You can see I've been downloading a lot of mods lately. Okay, and once you have everything downloaded Go ahead and hit Windows R This will bring up a, this run screen here and you're going to type what I have selected here percent app data percent i will be sure to leave this in the description so you can just copy it uh nice and easily throw it in here click ok and it'll open up your folder here click the dot minecraft here and then uh you i have a mods folder already uh you may need to create one uh it or you just need to run minecraft one time with the fabric installed and it'll create one um, I have some a couple in here from last time. We're gonna ignore that. So you're gonna go and you're gonna take your two mods wherever you saved them to. Uh, you can just drag them if you're using Chrome like me. You can just drag them from your downloads thing here. Okay, and we got our Iris and Sodium. These will not work unless you have both of these installed and make sure they are um, the latest version and they're compatible with one another. And then you'll go to your Minecraft launcher. And once your Minecraft launcher has come up, you should see Fabric Loader for 121. Uh, if you noticed, we did install the 0.16.0. So that is the correct one. If we go ahead and click play, this should load up the, the game with our shaders installed. Okay, and once you have your game up, you should see that you're at the title screen here and you should see where it says fabric modded. So you know that you have fabric installed. Um, easiest way to know to see if you have sodium and iris installed, just go to options, go to video settings and your settings screen should look a lot more different than the the default one and so sodium has a lot of different settings you can change here but the reason we're doing this is to install shaders and so that shader packs button is right up at the top here and it comes um does it come default with this or did i have this installed already <laughs> uh, you can open up your shader packs folder uh, i think i already had this one in here uh, but you can go ahead and download any packs. I recommend going to uh, Modrinth's website here and just click on shaders. And here's a whole bunch of shaders that you can download. So we're just going to go ahead and like we can do uh, complementary shaders. And we'll go ahead and download the latest version for this. 
and then if you want to you can drag it into your shader pack folder which will just be uh, located in your dot minecraft folder so we had our mods folder just go down to where you see shader packs and then this is where you can drag and drop it or if you want to you can go ahead and just if you have the game open uh, not bookmarks uh, complementary reimagined just drag it on top of the game and look it, it added it here so we can click apply there and we'll click done and then we'll go to one of our worlds that we have here okay and now that we're in one of our worlds you can see right away that we've got shaders installed and everything looks really beautiful now with these shaders there are a ton of settings that you can go do so you can just go ahead and go to options video settings shader packs and click on the one that you're using shader pack settings and then you can mess around with all this and get it uh, the way you like it and everything um, maybe you like to have the uh, the clouds maybe you want the clouds to be higher up and you just hit apply and the clouds will be like way up in the sky once it loads there we go and like that we've the clouds are all the way up there in the sky so you, there's a lot of stuff you can uh, i'm not going to go over it in this video but there's a lot of stuff that you can change with these shader packs make it to the way that you like it okay and that's everything you got to do to get shaders working if this did help you please click that uh like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this i do mod uh tutorials as well as a resource pack and just like Minecraft tutorials in general. Uh, I do have a tutorial on how to install fresh animations, which I think goes really well with the shaders here. You can have them installed at the same time. Uh, so go ahead and check that video out and uh, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.